So I managed to get access to the Circle Frontier, and I can't help but shake the feeling that it's had a major identity crisis. And I think I think that is the case. Actually, they changed the goalposts on what they want the game to actually be. I think it was more of a battle royale game before, and now they want it to be that session-based kind of mission, drop in, drop out, uh, extract if you die during a raid, like Tarkov, Hunt Showdown, or Vigor. Uh, you lose all your gear if you die while you're in there. If you can extract on a ship in time, you keep all the loot. But there is quests to do in there as well, missions. Uh, so there's items you have to pick up, certain amount of monsters you have to kill, and mining, and there's small puzzles as well, which you can get like really good loot from, as well as stashes hidden around the map. So there's uh, there's a lot to the game, but I, I definitely feel like uh, they've, they've changed their mind in what direction they wanted to take with the game, uh, which is not a bad thing. It's a great concept. It's, it's much more of a sci-fi focus on this. You start in a space station, and when you're ready and you prepped your character with the loadout, you drop down on a dropship, and it all looks pretty impressive. Very reminiscent of Icarus when you drop to the planet. But as soon as you leave your dropship, there is a chance of being killed by a player. The AI doesn't mess about either. The monsters around the planet that you can find will mess you up. You have to be really careful. Uh, once you get used to them though they're not too bad but what we did find though what we tried to do cheap runs which is basically going in with a pistol either no armor and helmet or the very starter armor and helmet which gives you i think 10 armor protection uh just to to get our quest done we found there's not the way to do it uh, we were gonna i was gonna complain quite a bit actually and say i think the game's broken the balancing's off uh, but um which might be the case to a certain degree because there are better weapons and certain weapons that are kind of useless in comparison with other weapons the the ar that you you can have at the start or fairly early uh doesn't really i mean it's it's not as good as the pdw and uh, the shotgun's pretty good but only close range as you'd expect from a shotgun so yeah but the, the main thing you want to do uh thanks to joe for mentioning it while we were streaming is the armor you definitely want to go for green armor and helmet or better which at one point i'll show you the clip from stream if i didn't find this epic purple armor in a stash this guy would have killed me I, I only survived due to this epic purple armor that i found and uh I sadly Colo died to one of the big ai which is super op i'm not sure how you kill these things That purple armor saved my life though. So it's in closed beta at the moment. Of, of course, they're, they're going to fix things. They're going to tweak things. Uh, I do love the concept, the more sci-fi based drop down and uh, prospect a planet, get the missions done, get back to the space station, hand in your missions with three factions, which you can unlock their specific weapons for each faction and different quests. So you've got to go down and mine for minerals, uh, ores, uh, go down to the buildings down there, the old abandoned facilities and get metals and computer components and things like that, which are also used to craft so you can craft better armor. Um, but of course, if you've ran out, and this is where I think the balancing may come into effect here, or the misbalancing, the if you run out of all of your armors and things like that, and you have nothing to craft, you're going to have to go to planet to gather the things to craft. And if you run out of credits, so you can't buy, you're going to be going to planet with a pistol maybe, and or just a knife and no armor or the basic armor. You're going to be really under equipped to most of the players down there you'll find they are extremely bullet spongy once they've got better than the basic armor once they've got green and upwards they take so many bullets and you will die to maybe two two three bullets it will seem like and while i mention that it seems like two to three bullets uh definitely some connection issues we had rubber banding and it wasn't just myself everybody that i played with and spoke to had rubber banding uh, not severe, but it was just a little bit of rubber banding every kind of 30 seconds to a minute or so. Just a minor one, maybe, maybe more than that, maybe two minutes. Um, but it was quite, quite frequent on that kind of time scale. 
and uh, sometimes the hit markers did not seem consistent at all it just seemed to work when it wanted to which again could be down to server performance maybe the netcode uh, things in the background like that um, but altogether, I think the cycle could be a super popular game. I think they get those netcode issues sorted out and the, maybe the balancing, maybe. I think lower tier players definitely need lower tier players to play against that are going to be similarly equipped to them because at the moment, from what I can see, we've gone in pretty, pretty newbie with the low tier armor and just got wrecked by people until we could actually craft the green armor better <laughs> to stand a chance. That's where it kicks in as well as certain attachments uh you can get penetration i think on the sniper rifle yeah that thing is a one-shot machine um so yeah uh, that that certain attachment called the weapon ammo attachment that is uh is gonna mess your mess your day up <laughs> and you're gonna lose everything so uh the gear fear is strong with this one because you have to do the missions on planet and extract alive if you die you lose all of that progress so you've got to you've got to survive Footsteps are really loud as well. You can play sneakily, which is probably recommended, to be honest, if you are under-equipped or feel under-equipped. Take it a bit slower, which I would recommend anyway. Don't sprint everywhere as the footsteps are extremely loud. Audio as a whole, um, I do love good audio. The audio as a whole is pretty good. The only thing I noticed is, uh, especially in the storm, uh, you can mistake or not know, not be able to distinguish gunshots from footsteps. Uh, the gunshots and footsteps at a certain range can sound very similar so maybe a little tweak on that so you definitely know whether it's footsteps or gunshots uh, but the storm effects the sound effects as a whole other than that uh, pretty decent uh, for what it is and uh, visuals of course uh, this is <laughs> something i mentioned it looks like something that was made in core uh, i don't know somebody probably say yeah it was made in core and then they made it a single player again that's what it looks like it's very fortnite -y, unreal ng made in unreal engines core game maker thing uh could be um but i did enjoy my time with it once we figured out that armor is the key to success and yeah we had some good gunfights in the end on stream so don't forget to catch me live on stream on twitch this is running as of the making of this video till the first of november this closed beta but i will be playing it when it is launched and trying it out and giving feedback on the full release and any fixes tweaks and changes that they may have made so yeah, let me know if you played the Cycle Frontier. If you've got any tips, let me know in the comment section below. I'm sure people will be very, very grateful. Hopefully the uh, armor armor tips have helped you guys for, for the most part for now. Uh, we don't know if there's, there'll be balancing made to it in the future regarding the weapons and armor because certain weapons, like I've said, the AR, you might as well just run in with the PDW, make sure you've got green plus armor and uh, you, you're going to be, be able to stand up to a good gunfight against other players. You're not going to get one shot all the time and hopefully be able to extract from planet with those missions more often because it can get frustrating on the 10th time of attempting the same mission and dying oh my god trust me we've had that anyway don't forget to hit that like button or dislike if you enjoy the content i create and subscribe it really really does help the channel out a lot guys i know i've deviated from daisy a bit i'm enjoying other games and uh, for those that are stuck by me, I really, really do appreciate it. Um, I can't, words can't say how much it, it means to me. And uh, I'm just enjoying other games. That's all it is. Um, I'll, I'll probably go back to Daisy at some point. But right now, I'm enjoying loads of, loads of different stuff. I hope you enjoy the videos. I love you all. And I'll see you peeps next time. Another... Fuck.